there. Welcome to On The Beat, the podcast that uncovers full frontal male nudity in cinema. My name is Laura Hensel, and I am joined by my co-host, Ryan Henderson. Hi. Hi there. Oh, it's good to see you. I know, it's almost as if you see me every day. Oh, it's a pleasure every time I open my eyes. Well, that's always nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here today to introduce our new podcast that I've already kind of explained, but we wanted to talk a little bit about us and why we're doing this in the first place. What is beat, Laura? I think the audience want to know what beat is. Beat is actually French for dick. Yes. You know, it's a clever play on words. I like to think so. Yeah. It took us a long time to come up with it. Mm -hmm. All of five minutes. Yes. So we're like on the beat. Dick detectives. Investigating celluloid frames for those for those elusive peni. Yeah. In terms of my history with penis cinema, kind of started back in 2007. I used to work at Hollywood Video. I don't think you had Hollywood Video in Scotland. No, we had Blockbuster and we had Global Video. Yeah. And we also had an independent Indian... Uh, basically Indian-centric, Hollywood-centric oh. uh, little video store that probably is still there to this day. Hollywood video is gone at this point, has been long gone. I remember... Those video shops are gone now. I know. I remember yeah. locking up the door to the Hollywood video. The last latch. In Winter Park, Florida. The last lock-up. And I kept those keys as a reminder of days past. Failed business. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Well, working at Hollywood Video for so long, and this was back in the days where Netflix would still send you discs, for whatever reason, I had a lot of time on my hands. And so I was thinking one day, I'd really wonder if Daniel Craig specifically, I don't know why, I don't have a thing for Daniel Craig, but I was like, I wonder if Daniel Craig gets naked in any movies. And um, I ended up... Lo and behold. <laughs> I found one, and... It was called Love is the Devil, and I think it was like a BBC TV production, but I ended up finding the disc on Netflix, and then I called a couple of friends, which is a weird phone call to get when I go, would you like to come over and watch Daniel Craig's dick with me? Yeah, that's a phone call. That's a phone call you don't usually tend to turn down. Exactly. Yeah. People were interested. I had friends come over, and it kind of started this thing where we would have, like, dick flick movie nights. And I would always pick a new one, and we'd watch them, and then we would talk about it. And so I wanted to kind of bring that energy here into the podcast. My interest in that subject has pervaded my life in such a way where when I went and got my master's degree in archaeology, I wrote my master's dissertation on phallic representations in Pompeii. And so I want to bring... You are well-versed in, yeah. in the... In the uh, the male anatomy. You really won't shut me up when it comes to talking about wieners. No, no. You know no. this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't go a minute of the day without hearing about some dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. We, we come from fairly humble beginnings. Indeed. Certainly. I am not from the US, as you can probably tell from my accent. Mm -hmm. I met Laura in 2018. Right. Uh, while she was studying over there, doing her master's. And then, as time went on and we realized that we couldn't be without each other, we eventually legally were bound to each other. Yes. And I am now in the U.S. now. But my background is, uh, is in filmmaking. So I've been making films since I was a wee boy, since I was in school. <laughs> so you're talking at least 20 something years since I was in school. And I have been interested in cinema and film for almost as long as that, if not, if not more. So the opportunity for me to get onto a podcast to talk about film and cinema in any capacity is uh, like a dream come true. I don't remember the times I've seen a penis in a film. Not for us, that frustrates me. You know, I don't really. I'm not really that fussed about other male penises out there. Certainly well, not famous dicks. Well, it's not that you should get excited. Well, maybe you should. I get excited. 
Every time I see one, it's like... Yeah, correction. I'm not getting excited over dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's not happening. Well, the thing is, the reason that we want to do this is because we see them so sporadically in film. And yes. so when one comes up, it's like a celebration. Mm -hmm. To me, you see one, you barely ever see one. Mm -hmm. So when it comes up, it's something to note, yeah. something to celebrate, something to consider. Why is there a penis in this movie? Yes. And I look at it from the perspective of historically how those depictions have changed over the years, uh, whether, if, whether we have become more liberal or if we've become more conservative when it comes to depictions of the male anatomy. Certainly in a day and an age where the landscape, the social landscape, is constantly changing. It is, it is in constant evolution. So certainly looking at it from the perspective of, of, of cinema... I find to be very interesting. I'm really excited to get into this with you and get it down digitally for the internet. There are two ways that we will rate the movies that we watch and review. Yeah. The first is the film itself on a whole. What did we think about it? What did we come away with? You know, zero out of five stars. Yes, it will be on a five star scale. It's we, easier that way. Yeah, we also, we are on Letterboxd as well, so we like to keep things fairly uniform yeah. from our opinions. Nice and succinct, yeah. five-star system. When we will rate the, the scene itself, so when we're talking about the dick scene, we will rate based on visibility and context. So in terms of how much of it did you see? Did you get a good look? Is it in shadow? Is there a sheet covering it? I mean, did you really get to... Stick it in your mind's eye. Yes. Did you get that dick in your head? Can you close your eyes and can you see that penis imprinted on the back of your eyelids? And these ratings will go together on our website, which is onthebeat.com, where you can go and look at our database that I have compiled strategically and thoroughly, as thoroughly as I possibly can over the last 15 years, where I have taken all of the actors that I've seen, all the movies that I know that there's full frontal, I've put them on this database. There's no nudity on this website, by the way, because we're classy. There's no pictures, so don't yeah, get, you're looking don't get for too porn, excited, you fucking pervs. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. We're just talking about film here. Yeah. So if you want to... Our words are sexy enough. Yeah. So if you want to go there, you can find your favorite actors and you can find out your timestamps and what we've rated them. So the timestamp of the scenes, the ratings of the film, and the rating of the scenes will be on thebeat.com. And so you can search for it there. And that's also where you can find news about upcoming episodes, news about what we're up to. And you can also find the podcast there as well, along with the database. So you can find all that information on the website. We've already said it before, onthebeat.com. It's super easy to find us on Instagram, on Twitter. Same thing, on the beat. O-N-T-H-E-B-I-T-T-E. -E. There we are. On the beat. Film by film, one at a time, and uncover each penis as we, as we find it. Yes, because we love cinema. That is the first and foremost thing about it, is that we, we love cinema... Uh, and that is why we are here. Yeah, so I am excited to go on this journey with you. Hopefully we'll have guests in the future. We can we can do anything. We can invite whoever we want. Yes. It just depends on whether they agree to talk about it with us. Of course, yes. There is, uh, yeah, there should be no level of sensitivity to what we're talking about here. This is very much a spoiler-ridden adult dick fest so certainly if you certainly if you are shy to certain things in life this might not be for you but we hope it is we hope it is because we need listenership <laughs> that's true <laughs> can't just be us no just listening to ourselves weird yeah <laughs> weird i'm really excited to get into this with you and get it down digitally for the internet because these are conversations that we have just ourselves. These are conversations we have with other people. And so I'm really hoping that you, the audience, will enjoy hearing our ruminations on every celebrity penis that we can find. Yes. Or non-celebrity penis. Yeah, as, it doesn't have it, to be yeah. a celebrity. It could be, could be anyone's dick. It could be stunt dick. 
Well, I guess we'll find we're that gonna out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going gonna... to... We're going to Holmes this shit. Yes. Yeah, in more ways than one. That is why <laughs> we're on the beat. We're on the beat. We're on the beat.